This is the coolest looking S-Class fighter I have seen. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to find an amazing looking fighter. This thing looks really, really sexy. So, first, before we jump into any of this stuff, thank you so much to everyone who's been watching, subscribing, and hitting the like button. Doing that helps me out so much. So hit that like button if you enjoy these kind of videos. And actually subscribe if you love No Man's Sky and you want to see more No Man's Sky stuff. I make a ton of No Man's Sky videos, and I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. By the end of 2020, I hope that the channel can get up to 100,000 subscribers. So please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, especially if you like No Man's Sky. I don't see why not, because I make a ton of No Man's Sky videos, and you, you know that next update's just around the corner, and you're going to want to come back and see what's going on. So anyway, jumping into the video... You all know that I love the NMS Coordinates Exchange. That is my favorite place to go. I always, uh, I'm creeping around there looking for good stuff. And I found this post from Postman Tom. Postman Tom found this thing and it is amazing looking. So we are going to go over there and we're going to find it for ourselves. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to know where a portal is. I found a portal and made my base right next to it. That way I can never lose it. There's always a base right next to my portal. So good to go. And you're going to need the glyphs. If you don't know how to get either glyphs or find a location for a portal, video up top and link down below in the description. They'll show you everything you need to know. So once all of that's out of the way... Oh, we're going to have to recharge these. So give me a second. So now with that out of the way, man, and I don't know about you guys, but for me, that has been happening more frequently. I've had to recharge more frequently i don't know if they've changed it in the update or what but kind of a pain in the butt anyway once you've done that you can activate your portal and this is where you're going to put your glyphs in now pay attention either you can pause the video once i've done all the glyphs or you can take a screenshot whatever you need to do but it's going to be the sunrise the sunrise the whale give me a second i'm looking at two different screens here there we go the beetle I'm losing my mind here, guys. Where's the beetle at? There we go. Good lord. I'm losing it. The uh, sunrise again. The bird. The whale. Good lord. The uh, flux capacitor. We haven't used one of those in a while. The triforce. The dinosaur. The trivial pursuit sign. And the last one's going to be a teepee, so take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. Pause. So, and again, all credit goes to Postman Tom. He's the one who found it. And before we do anything else, before you jump into this portal, remember, go press pause, go over to your options, hit your network settings, and make sure your multiplayer is disabled. All right, because if anyone's there and they decide to, to hop in and get that ship, you will not be able to get it. So they could steal it from you. Might as well just cut them off at the pass and do not have multiplayer turned on. So we've landed on the other side and this is a really cool looking planet. Look at this red. I love it. And we already have, we already have uh, comp stations over here. Thanks, first discovered uh, 620. So that would have been June 20th. Heck yeah. Now for this one, you're not really going to have a, a crash location per se. You're going to need to find it. So the best thing you can do is if you have a uh, an economy scanner right here. If you have an economy scanner, you can actually use that to find a trading post. So we're going to search for a trading outpost. Well, that's not a trading outpost. They're usually red. Oh, there it is over there. So, I mean, you can also just fly really low and try to find one, but you need to find a trading outpost. Easiest way to do this. So let's head on over there. So here's our trading outpost. I'm actually going to land over here. Try to make it to where I don't land on one of the, um, the platforms because you want as many ships to land as possible. 
And this is also where you want to trade up. Like, I have my maximum number of ships in my inventory, so I need to make sure I have the one activated that I want to trade. So I'm going to trade my Ruby Red Rocket. This needs to become my active ship. So when you try to trade and you have your maximum number of ships... You will trade whatever one you have activated. So, there you go. I traded. I, I moved in for... Ah, good lord, I can't even speak. I activated the one I want to trade. So, that's the one. Now, let's look around here. Not the one we want. That's a pretty cool fighter, though. And all we're going to do is we're going to be waiting for a cool fighter to come in. And that's a really cool one right there. That's a B-class. That's not bad. That's a cool... We have some really cool ships landing here. I like this one. Now, what I generally do is I will make a manual save because you're going to be here for a while. Depends on what you want to do. If you're just waiting for the ship to land, period, like you don't care what class it is or any of the stats, it'll probably be really quick. But if you want to get an S class, it could take hours to do that. So what you want to do is you want to make a manual save so you can actually just reload your save Every once in a while? Nope, I need metal plating. So let's do that. So we're gonna make a manual save. And after the first few waves, like after a few a few ships come in, I'd say maybe between 5 and 10, you've seen basically the first wave. You can just reload. So, yep, that's a cool looking fighter over there. You've seen, yeah basically half or more than half of what ships are going to come in so you don't have to stick around for that long i like how the ground is like into all of these uh landing pads all right so we waited a little bit so i'm going to reload the save and we're going to keep doing this till we find a good ship that we want eventually well look at that my next reload this is like 10 seconds in and the first wave i find the ship that i want now what class is it? I don't know yet, so let's check it out. It is a C class, so not not ideal. I definitely don't want to uh, don't want to keep this one, but because we have it, look at this thing. This thing looks so beautiful. I love it. But because I want to make sure I have at least one before I leave, I'm gonna buy this one and I'm gonna keep reloading and see if I can get a better class uh, ship. Because at, you know, at the minimum, at least we have this one. That's why I do that. So it's a C class. Not very many uh, inventory slots. We can always uh, increase that. Oof. Yeah, definitely. Negotiate the price. Now, this one costs 550,000 bucks. So remember that. I mean, if you get to a B and an A class, it's going to cost one, two, five million. But C class, 550, so that's pretty cheap. And because my other ship has. A value of two million I don't have to pay anything for it but I can't buy it separately I have to exchange it I cannot buy it on its own so I'm gonna move over all my stuff that's it oh yep and this is all technology I could break down but it's all living ship stuff so it's okay we're gonna exchange this one so now this is my ship yeah but I want to make sure I keep it for good so I'm going to create a manual save now. That way I've saved after I've bought the ship. Now it's permanently mine. And then we're going to reload and we're going to try to get a better version, a better class of it. Better than C. So I'll see you in a minute. Four to six days later. All right. We've been waiting here for uh, a few hours now. And the best I can come up with is a B class. I haven't even got an A class to come in yet. It's driving me crazy. But I've been here for a while. And I can't record all day. I mean, I wish I could. But if you stay here long enough, that random number generator will give you an A or an S class fighter. It will. I promise you it will. Now, it's going to take a long time. Or you might be lucky and you might get it right off the bat. And if you do, just know that I hate you very much. But we have our B class. Let's go pimp this thing out at the space station. I'm going to show you what this baby can look like. Oh, my. Look at this thing. This thing looks cool just from the... Oh. And we can change the color of the uh, the jets as well. Oh, dude. I can't wait. Okay, yeah, you know what? Before I get crazy, let's go to the space station and upgrade this bad boy. God, I love the design of this. This ship 
looks amazing. Look at this thing. Whoop. Wrong button. Look at this thing. That is so BA. Look at that. That thing is so awesome. All right. So we're going to upgrade it because we couldn't find it. Instead of, instead of waiting for a few hours, you can use it if you have the money. You're going to need a lot of nanites and you're going to need a lot of units or you need some storage augmentations. Now, if you don't know how to collect storage augmentations, I have a video showing you how to do that. Link up top and down below in the description. But I have a lot of storage augmentation, so we should be able to do this. No problem. So here you go. You're going to upgrade your ship right here. We're going to upgrade it. Or you, we can scrap it if we wanted to. And we get 1 million, even though it's worth 1.4. They take a little bit of a cut. So you're going to lose a little bit of money from what you paid for it. But we're going to upgrade it. But first, we're going to do our class. Now, from a B to an A... It's going to cost 25,000 nanites, but you don't have to worry about, like, waiting for an A to come through. So now it's an A class. Look at that. Woo. But we could do even better than that. Let's go to an S class because S's are the best. Let's upgrade. And we're going to upgrade to an S class right here. 50,000 units. 50 or nanites. Excuse me. 50,000 nanites. So you got to have a lot of stockpiled nanites. So now we're in A or an S class. There it is. Boom. Yes. S class. Now that we've upgraded as far as we can for the class, we need to upgrade our uh, inventory slot. So let's do that again. And we're going to apply augmentations. Now you can buy one. You can buy them each, but they're good. They start out at 3 million. And they keep going up and up and up, up to 300 million per slot. So you're going to need a lot of money. Thankfully, I have a whole bunch of uh, augmentation, so we're going to do that. And you don't, you, it just fills it up in the next in line. So we're going to do that and fill them all up. Now it will kick you out the first time because you've reached, you filled in all the gaps. And so now it's like, hey, you filled in all the gaps. Now it'll go in order. So we got to go back into our menu and we'll do it again. So upgrade. And look at that. I have a, I've only increased the class and in the inventory slots. And look at 4.7. Keep that in mind. From now on, this is an S-class ship. So I'm not upgrading the class at all. I'm just upgrading the inventory slots. Well, let's see how much it, it's worth when we're done. So 4.7. Let's keep going. And that is all of them. We are maxed out completely. So let's look at our starship. Look at that. We are maxed out. So you can have 21 in your technology and 48 in your general. But let's see how much it's worth now if we scrap it. We were at what? 4.7 before, right? And now we're at 109 million. It's totally... Holy cow. 109 million units. We're not going to scrap it though because I love this thing. So we're going to leave. But we are fully maxed out. We are good to go. So this thing is fully maxed out. Let's see how this thing looks like in space and in the cockpit. You guys got to see what the cockpit looks like. Let's get out into space. Let's go into first person. And look at this thing. This is what it looks like on the inside. So if you're in VR... This is what it's going to look like. I'm not playing VR. I'm just playing single player, you know, regular. But you can still look around and look at everything. That's pretty cool. But then I like to do it from the cockpit. If you go into photo mode, it freezes it. So I'm inside the ship. You can kind of see it's all glitched out. I love doing that. But you back up and oh, well, let's move that, that sun just a little bit over there. Look at this beautiful thing, you guys. That is awesome. Look at this thing. This is the coolest looking S-Class fighter I have seen. Those wings are so cool. They're like angled forward and they have the engines on the tips. This is the coolest fighter. I mean, I like my gull wings very much, but this is... Oh, I don't know if it's a tie or if this one is number one, but this is the coolest ship I've ever seen. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. 
I'm uploading videos all the time and I'll see you guys next time.